Okay, so got a new AI tool to check out. This one came via my Twitter DMs. DocLime reached out asking me to give this one a test drive. Um, so I'm just going to create a free account here, see what it requires. I may pause it here while I, yeah, let me do that quick. Okay, so I just use my Google credentials to log in. <clears throat> Now I've got a fairly large document here, uh, 19th underscore DMI. Let me see if I can find this, 19th underscore DMI. Now when I say large, I'm gonna show you how long this takes while this is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna take a while. All right, this is uh, 3,100 pages. Um, this is a massive PDF over 3,000 pages. So let's see how fast this can digest this, and then let's ask it some questions as well. Let's see where we are, 20%. I'm just gonna pause this while this loads. Um, I'll let you know how long it takes here. Okay, turning this back on. It's been under two minutes, and it's already consumed 3,100 pages of a PDF. All right, just finished reading your documents. Any questions? Okay, so I've loaded in massive, massive paper that was a huge design event, academic design event, and all these, this PDF is hundreds of independent academic studies and papers and all that. So I'm gonna just think of, okay, um, how to integrate design operations, operations into a global enterprise. What are the risks? Any rewards? Of course, we know there's rewards, but let's just see what happens here. Um, I'm so curious. Okay, it's working. I may put it on pause here while it's working through this again. I've pushed this thing pretty hard right away from my first attempt, 3,100 pages. Let's see how well it does. I'm going to press pause, keep a timer. Okay, so it took maybe a total of 15 seconds. This is what it says. The context you provided does not can contain any specific information about integrating design operations into a global enterprise. However, in general, integrating design operations into a global enterprise can be a complex process, requires careful planning, some risks, and it goes on to uh, list some rewards. Okay, so it didn't pull any direct information, I don't think, from the source information. Um, but it did try to provide me an answer. I don't know where it got that information from, if it went into the data that it has in its learning model or not. I'm going to uh, try to come up with another question to see if we can find something within the document. Okay, so my next prompt is, tell me about collaborative evaluation of design concepts. Let's see what this comes up with. Now, that is an actual paper title, Collaborative Evaluation of Design Concepts in this master PDF. I'm not sure if it's just going to retrieve that, if it's going to not only retrieve it, but then summarize it in a way that it feels like it's telling me about it. Um, based on information, it seems like there are several examples of collaborative between. Okay, now this is actually looking pretty good. It looks like it actually went into the paper, pulled out different context as well as interpretations of what uh, collaborative evaluation would look like. Okay, so to make this interesting, I've come up with a new prompt drawing from this PDF. Please list the top three reasons that organizations should incorporate design. Please provide references. Yes, I have a misspelling. Let's see if it catches that. Also, uh, while I was doing that, I searched the actual PDF, the 3000 page PDF for some specific language. Just wanted to note that that took about two and a half minutes to search the whole thing. Now, I was using my laptop, um, so maybe that was slowing it down, but it appears that DocLime actually searches the PDF faster than the reader did. Um, this is taking a little bit. I'm going to put on pause and see how long it takes me to get this answer. Okay, I'm a bit blown away. So it looks like it actually did pull and read all the documents and journal papers. It actually provided the references to each of these papers in its answer. I'm not gonna read it all, you can look at it, but fairly impressive. Now I've not gone through this with a fine tooth comb. This is literally the first time I'm using it and I've spent less than five minutes with the tool, but it's interesting enough, I'm gonna keep digging in. Thanks for the DM.